question we've got over the years is what could be the difference between spin efficiency versus spin direction. Um, so to simplify that, uh, if we were to look at spin direction first, uh, how we represent spin direction in the app and on the cloud is correlated to a face of a clock. Um, so on any pitch type, um, it's the spin direction, it's important to remember, is a two-dimensional uh, because it's a face of a clock to where if it's pure backspin, it's rotating through 12 o'clock. Uh, if a pitch had pure uh, side spin, so say it's a right-hander throwing a side spin pitch, that would be going through 3 o'clock. Um, as we get into breaking balls that have true topspin on them, uh, if it would be perfect topspin, uh, you think of like a Clayton Kershaw curveball, a curveball out of a pitching machine that goes straight down, that is now rotating through 6 o'clock. Um, so that's an important thing to understand that when you're looking at spin direction, uh, it is represented by a face of a clock. Um, and there's different points on the clock by hour and minute that are going to create a different break. When looking at the difference of spin direction to spin efficiency, uh, it's important to understand that spin efficiency is based, about, based around the RPMs, uh, the spin rate of the ball, and what axis they're coming from. So spin efficiency is going to be the percentage of spin that's coming from backspin, topspin, or sidespin. So uh, the difference looking at spin direction, it's important to remember that's a face of the clock. What, act, what part of the ball is that ball spinning through? And then spin efficiency, taking into account X, Y, and Z axis on what RPMs are coming from backspin, topspin, and sidespin to create higher vertical and horizontal break. Uh, for example, a low spin efficiency, if it would just show 0% on a slider, that would mean there, it's purely gyrospin. There's no component of topspin, backspin, or sidespin. It's full gyro to get 0% spin efficiency. To put it in simplest terms possible, uh, spin direction is correlated to the face of a clock. So when looking at the data, uh, think about a face of a clock and what axis that ball is spinning through. So 12 o'clock would be the top of the ball, 6 o'clock would be the bottom of the ball for a top spin pitch. When taking a look at spin efficiency, uh, the simplest way to look at it is it's a percentage on how many RPMs and spin rate on that ball are correlated with spin-induced break. So that's going to be only the spin from backspin, topspin, and sidespin.